Okay, it's Mr. Robs here. And so for this particular one, I would like you to do try this investigation by yourself without listening to me. Try and do the thinking on your own. And then uh, if you do need to do it, I am going to go through it yourself. So I'm going to pause it now so you can also pause it as well. Okay, so the first thing that I want to talk about is now that you've tried the investigation yourself, the line y equals mx be written as tangent alpha x. Well, because this, if I think about this, right, slope m is rise over run, right? So I go rise over run, which this is sine, my rise, this is cosine, sine over cosine, or alpha rather, sine over cosine is tangent. So the slope of a line can be rewritten as tangent alpha, okay? And so I know that this has been reflected to A. If I consider this scenario, I know that's a right angle. These values are equal, and so I know this has reflected to A. And I want to know why cosine 2 alpha comma sine 2 alpha is this coordinate point A. Well, this one's quite straightforward because I know this is 2 alpha, so this distance is well, is sine of 2 alpha. Well, I also know that it's, this distance is going to be 1 because it's been reflected over. And so if I think about this, this is opposite over hypotenuse. So that is going to be the y value. And this one here is cosine 2 alpha, which is the x value and the y value. And so that is why this is true. Okay, B part says, find BOC in terms of alpha to find the image of 0, 1 on the transformation. So, 0, 1 reflected over to B. And so if I put a line that connects them, I can clearly see if that is the case, that this these are both right angles here, and that this distance is equivalent to this distance. I also know that this is a length of 1, and this is a length of 1. And so this triangle here is congruent to this triangle here because they all have the same sides. Well, if I think about this angle, it's got to be 90 minus 2 alpha. And so this one also, because I know I have 90 minus 2 alpha plus an alpha, so this is an alpha, so this one is 90 minus 2 alpha. So BOC is equal to 90 minus 2 alpha. And so if I think about that, 0, 1 has changed to this point. Well, I have to go x and y. Well, this is x is going to be cosine 90 minus 2 alpha. And the y is going to be a negative sine 90 minus 2 alpha because it's going down. Well, that doesn't seem very helpful to us. Uh, the two alphas on the problem is this 90 part. But if you remember, just previously we did this scenario here where 90 minus theta was equal to cosine. So that then tells us that and cosine 90 minus theta was equal to sine. So well, then this one here, and I'll change color, this one is equivalent to sine of theta. So this is going to be the sine of 2 alpha. And sine, and then if I look at sine of 90 minus 2 alpha, well, I'm using this one here. And so that's going to end up as being negative cosine of 2 alpha. And so if I put this together, I can make a matrix now that uses this one here, which I remember as cosine theta sine theta. If I put this all together, I know that 0, 1, 0 and 0, 1 will change to cos 2 alpha sine 2 alpha, 
and it's going to be sine 2 alpha minus cosine 2 alpha. And that is a generalization of a reflection over this line here. You will get this is going to be a true fact for this scenario here. The good news with this, it is also in your formula booklet. Okay, so you don't have to memorize it, but you should be familiar with it. Okay, so now it says by finding, by first finding, so that's C part. Now it says by first finding alpha, determine the matrix that represents a reflection of the line root 3 of x. Well, if this is my scenario, if I have do root 3 of x is some line here, so I go rise of root 3, run of 1, rise of a run, so this here is my alpha. And so tangent of alpha is equal to the square root 3 over 1. And I can also get that straight from here. That tangent is equal to whatever the slope is. And so then if I find alpha, I can just put that in my calculator. And if I put that into my calculator, I get 60 degrees. And so to find my transformation matrix, if I use my transformation matrix that's down here, I want the cosine of 120, even though alpha is my reflection, my slope angle. This is going to be sine of 120, sine of 120, and a negative cosine of 120. I can use my calculator if you remember from last year's unit circle, and we will do more of it later on in, the, in this course. These are the values that we get. This is negative though. This one is positive. You can also use your calculator and you'll come up with the same values. So to generalize, if I'm going to reflect O line Y equals tangent alpha, this is the generalization of that. And you can just use it to multiply the points by.